All right, so let's try that one more time, <laughs> guys. It's Andy with Andrew Kid Gaming. I'm back to do another Final Fantasy 11 video, and I have to tell you, the main reason I decided to jump on and just do a quick bit with you is because I am having some serious um, Final Fantasy 11 angst right now. This this really harkens back to the days that I used to get so frustrated with this game that I would just rage quit. So, let me give you a little bit of a background on what's going on. Uh, maybe if somebody sees this and uh, they can help me out in the comments. So, here's the deal. Uh, Rhapsody of Zavannadil is the, the completion of the storyline of Final Fantasy XI. And in order to complete each Rhapsody's quest, you have to do a certain amount of, uh, of storyline from all the other expansions, Okay. And, oh dear God, I think I finally figured it out. Okay, so to give you an update, I've been working for the past uh, X amount of hours. I think I dropped down here. Please tell me I dropped down here. Okay, I've been working on this for a few hours now, trying to figure out how to navigate this godforsaken Wings of the Goddess content um, that I did not play through in the olden days when it was fresh because... I really stopped playing the game uh, a lot at the end of the Treasures of Adoragana era. So this is all really new and different to me. And so there's a certain quest line where you go to Sandoria and you talk to Lilliset, you meet her and, and Kate Sith and all that kind of stuff goes down. And so the next quest is that you have to go and find what we in the modern day call the Voy. Or however, I, I know some of my, my folks in the Asher server Facebook page were commenting on that. I, I've always said devoid, so forgive me. But uh, the Orcish Stronghold, there you go. Uh, apparently it's called like La Vogue or something like that in, in the Wings of the Goddess stuff. So I have to zone into it to get this, this next part of this cutscene. Um, and this really just goes right back to what made Final Fantasy XI... Uh, mind-bendingly difficult at times look at this i don't i don't think i oh oh there's a bridge well thank you god so the thing with final fantasy 11 is that there are so many gates to the content that you have to complete so you've got to complete this quest to unlock this one to get to that next quest and, and something that is so final fantasy 11 is to get about 10 steps into a quest and, and spend hours trying to accomplish something only to find out that you were supposed to do this random other quest that nobody ever even talked about like eight steps ago in order to progress. Like, look at this. See? I... And with a game with no jump in it, <laughs> this doesn't look like it would be that complicated. But you'd be wrong in that assumption because it is, in fact, extremely complicated. Um... I gotta be honest with you, Jugner Forest S is just a nightmare. This place is... I'm gonna have bad dreams about this. It's so bad. They have walls everywhere. And, you know, you can't just run around them like you could in something like Warcraft or in, in 14. No, no, no. Nothing so simple as that. You've gotta find... It's literally like a maze. It's like a puzzle and a maze and a nightmare. All wrapped together. So... Okay, apparently, down here, there's a crystal. And see, this is where I need to get, down here, at the bottom of the map. I feel like, but I'm pretty sure there was a wall there. I'm pretty sure I tried to just go around that and there was a wall there. This is, this is nightmarish. So, I really just wanted to share this moment with you guys so that you could appreciate exactly what it is uh, that, that drove me crazy about this game, but at the same time made me love it. Because here's the thing. When, and if, at the, yep, see, there's a wall there. I can't, I can't go through there. And this is just ridiculous because right on the other side of that wall, right there, there's a crystal and just a little path. And I, I can't, I can't go past the wall. Can I? Is there a way to get past the wall? See, there's, this is just a gorge here. What, is this, can I walk across this? And, no, of course not. That would be 
far too simple. So, yeah, this is this is very Final Fantasy XI because what happens is when, I, I, to be fair, yes, the content is really complicated and it's very gated and it's it's very um, annoying at times. But the great part about it is when you do finally accomplish things in this in this uh, this game, you do have a deeper appreciation for what you pulled off. I remember um, whenever I was playing on my old server and I was rolling a paladin, I was tanking for uh, a sky link shell at the time, and and this is another butchered pronunciation, I promise you. J joyous? Joyousy? G Gioso? Joyous. I always called it the Joyous, okay? So it was a sword, uh, and in that 75 era, it occasionally attacked twice. It was incredible for threat generation, or hate generation, excuse me, as a paladin. And so I really wanted it, and it dropped off of this really just random sea monk mob uh, in, I think, Kuftal Tunnel, maybe, in the back of it. Tribdis, I think, was the name of the mob. Anyhow, so... Uh, you know, I, I tried killing them multiple times and could never round up folks to help me and got my rear end just handed to me on multiple occasions. And then just one day at random, I'm off doing some other thing and some friends of mine in my league show were like, hey, Mark, uh, Charby's up and we're just out here killing some other random stuff that doesn't pertain to anything in our lives. You want to come and see if we get the drop? So I teleported out, ran in, I died twice, but <laughs> they killed it, they res me, and we got the drop. And I tanked with that sword for the rest of my uh, tanking career in, in Final Fantasy XI. And it was just a moment that I spent so much time bashing my head against the wall, just like I'm doing right now at this moment with this god-awful map that I am literally just, I'm about to call it a night over because I'm so frustrated. I had to share that with you. Little nostalgia trip from my heart to yours <laughs> about things uh, that were just special for this game, even if it, it isn't necessarily a, a fond type of special. It's still special, and it, it sticks out in my mind. Anyhow, I, I don't know if this connects with any of you guys. I, I'm going to start a series soon on the game and leveling in the game and kind of making progress in the game, uh, but until I get to that point, I wanted to just kind of share, oh, look at this. This might be a path around the mountain. Ah, it could exist. I must feel bad cutting you guys off because I feel like you should be invested in this with me at this point. Look at this. See, there's a little curve around the mountain right here. It might actually be my, my answer to my problem. I will update you guys later if, if I make it through this. But, yeah, so what I was going to say is I, I fully intend on starting a full-fledged series uh, for this game to go through and kind of show you the ins and outs of how this game works. Um, I'm really thinking I'm probably going to add a character slot and just start another character from scratch, which probably would be insane, but it would be a hobby-type character, not my main. This will be always be my main. Um, I, do, I do. I think we have pulled it off, boys. I think we've done it. Look at this. And ladies, I'm sorry. That's offensive. I think we have... I think we have gotten around the proverbial mountain actually it's a literal mountain uh so i'm gonna do that series and i want to detail how to start the game what your first moves in the game should be how to attain a sub job in this 2018 era where uh you don't even have to get the items anymore which i think is just robbing people of look at that look at that right there i bet you it's not even a teleport crystal is it it's because that looks like a crag crystal. What is this? What is this magic? It's witchcraft. What? Telepoint. What? No! I don't... Don't you... Okay. Whew. Jugner Gate Crystal. I thought it was about to send me somewhere else. Like, no, 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 no. Don't you take that from me. I've worked way too hard for this. Okay. We're going to mount back up with our sweet red crab. You'll notice my sad mount list because, uh, again... Uh, I didn't even know there were mounts in the game, but apparently that's the thing. So, anyhow, I, I am going to start a fresh character, walk you guys step by step through the story content. I fully intend on trying to go through the entire ser series of expansions, uh, Zalar, Promethea, everything. So, that's going to be coming. Give me some time to get all that going, uh, because I do have a wife and children, and that does get difficult to record around sometimes, but... I can't wait to bring you the content. So until then, you guys have an awesome night, and I'll catch you next time.
Thank you.